What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we're playing a bit of Tristana and uh, Tristana is honestly a super fun ADC. Uh, she is actually a, an ADC that I would recommend almost anybody if you're brand new to the game. This ADC is a good one to start out with. Uh, the reason for this is that she is kind of easy to, uh, to perform fairly decent with. You're gonna be like... As a new player on this champion, you're pretty easily going to perform fairly well. And there is a lot of room with this champion to become really, really good. Like, putting it in perspective, Tristana is actually an ADC that even the pros use in Worlds, etc. It's very frequent that you see her. And the reason for this is that this champion is very versatile. She's pretty good both in early game, mid game, late game. She has good mobility, good damage. And she's just overall a good pick that fits into a lot of compositions. Um, so yeah, and what makes her so good? Well, first of all, she's fairly easy to farm with. Uh, it can be a little tricky with her ease passive, because uh, it every time you kill something, it deals a bit of that AoE damage to anything uh, close to that target. But with that said, it it's I think for a new player, it might actually help you out more than it's gonna disturb you to be honest I mean, you might hit a few extra cs just because it uh it has that aoe uh so that aoe comes from your e ability we'll talk a bit more about that one in a moment uh but first of all uh, let's go through her passive so tristana's passive ability is actually something very subtle then that i think a lot of players uh, even that have been playing uh tristana for maybe many months or years or whatever are not aware of and that's because it's uh, it's very very subtle uh, her passive basically just gives her oops uh, a bit more attack range which means that she can shoot further uh, as she gets levels uh, this is very subtle and only to a degree where a lot of people probably don't notice it let's get this first kill here ah we didn't get the first spot the other guy did all right let's be careful uh, but super fine that's a, uh, a good kill. We're a split second from getting the first spot. Uh, and that's also a really good thing on Tristana. She has a really, really, really good level 2 spike. Uh, so if you just rush that level 2, you'll pretty often be able to just take the first kill. Super easy. Just like here. Well, well Garen got the first kill, but, or first spot, but pretty easily got a kill here. Uh, so we're going to get the first armor plating off here, and we're off to a good start. Uh, but let's talk a bit more about her abilities. Now that we know her passive, we'll move on to her Q. So her Q is uh, is very, very simple. All it does is that it gives a bit of uh, attack speed, or actually a lot, for just a moment. So for 7 seconds, uh, you're gonna start attacking really, really quickly, and it's super good. Especially in combination with her other spells. Or her other abilities. I don't know if you want to call them spells. I guess they kind of are. Anyway, that's her Q. Super simple. Whenever you click it for 7 seconds, you attack faster. Easy peasy. Then your W is probably the most iconic spell uh, she has. Well, let's get this kill. Another one. Whoop, and jump out of there. Whoa. Oh, this might be really close. Mm. I, don't, I just want to bait him. Can I get this? Ah, uh, fine. Good job. I was considering whether or not I could go in for that kill, but I was staying in max range, waiting for him to use something that allowed me to get an house attack in there. Uh, we didn't get it, so... Instead, I just let Syrah have the kill. It also ensured the kill, made sure he couldn't run up here. Anyway, her W is probably her most iconic spell, the one that most people know, and that is her rocket jump. Uh, her rocket jump is really, really good, both for offensive and defensive plays. Um, it is... It is overall just like it is such a good spell and the w is what kind of is like it's the most iconic spell but it's kind of what makes tristana good um the thing with her w is that you can reset the cooldown of it and her w the rocket jump you can see the range is pretty far and within the little circle in the middle right here where we can see if you don't have smart cast on you can move this i can just show you guys we take smart cast off you can see this circle i can move around you can actually go to the edges and within this circle you can move um there's that's where you do damage or that's where the spell does damage and slows the target um very easy to understand 
So, uh, whenever you jump with this one, you're gonna slow your target as you land on them, and you're gonna deal some damage. We're gonna talk about the resetting, how you reset this uh, ability in just a second. First of all, we'll just talk about her E, because that way it'll make more sense. So, her E is her uh, explosive charge. This is ability is uh, super cool. It's uh, basically the passive. There's two parts of it. There's the passive one, which is basically this. So, every time we kill a minion, let's see if we can find one we can kill here. Uh, it gives some AoE damage. You say it gives damage to everything around it whenever it dies. That's the passive portion of it. So, every time you kill something, it deals AoE damage. There you go. Um, the active part is the one you can click, so whenever you click your E onto a target, then it's gonna put on this, uh, this bomb. Um, just like so. Every time you shoot it, as you see, it's gonna start, uh, expanding or stacking. This bomb has a maximum amount of stacks. Uh, once that is reached without attacks, then it explodes, or... It explodes automatically after four seconds with the number of stacks that's on it. So this means that the more stacks you have on it, the more damage you do. Um, but if you don't have full stacks, don't worry. You're just going to do less damage and it's still going to explode. The cool thing, though, and this is where your W really comes into play. Uh, do we need to help down here? I think they're fine. Uh, the cool thing about this one, though, is that whenever uh, you have full stacks, you get full stacks onto a target then your W fully resets. So we can just get this stack. There we go. And jump out of there. Uh, whenever, whenever you get full stacks on a target, then your W resets. So imagine you jump in, you put your E onto a target, and you get full stacks. So it explodes. Then your W is automatically recharged. Plus, whenever you get a kill or an assist, your W also resets. This means that you can use your your uh, rocket jump several times throughout uh, and engage. So just like here, we reset it. And the only reason I used it there was kind of to show it and uh, to get the big minion. <laughs> Optimizing gold. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically... Uh, the cool thing about Tristana, then we have her old. Her old is this knockback that knocks back a target and deals, I think it's 300 damage. Yes, it is. Uh, and then it, 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 that ability is increased damage by ability power, which we're not really going for as an AD. Uh, so probably gonna, not going to have anything to do with that. But nice to know. Another cool feature of her old, and this is probably you know, something a lot of players know, even at... at in some cases, cases at higher elo, they're not actually aware that her ult, if you pop your ult on a target that has explosive charge on top of it, then you are actually gonna, oh, let's, let's kill this guy. Oh, can I? Oh God, really? Um, I thought I would kill that turret faster so we could dive him. Um, so whenever you uh, you have an explosive charge onto a target and you then use your ult on them, then that explosive charge is going to have double the uh, explosion range, which means that this is super good. If you imagine you have someone rushing you, uh, imagine you have like, uh, let's see, what, what do they have? They have a Shen. All right, so Shen runs towards you. He's about to taunt you. You fire off your, your explosive shot on him, shoot him a couple of times, but don't go to full stacks. Instead, you use your ult and you just push him back into his own team. Now, this explosive charge is not only going to deal a ton of damage to him, but it's going to deal damage to almost his whole team because the explosion, explosion range is now twice as big. Um, so that is a super useful way of uh, of playing him uh, or playing Tristana. That is one way of using the ult. You can also do other things such as imagine you're pushed in on turret down here um, and you are kind of in trouble. You feel like they're stronger than you are and you're like, okay, I got to do an all in or whatever. Um, then you can actually use your rocket jump on, to on the, to the other side of them or combine it with your flash uh, to the other side of your enemy and then use your, your, your ult, your buster shot to push them under your turret and uh, their body taking advantage of it. You kind of think of it as a reverse Blitzcrank grab. <laughs> you can use it like that as well. It's very cool. Let's see if we can get a few stacks off this one. 
So we're slowly getting very fit. And that's also a cool thing about Trisana. She's very, very easy to snowball once uh, once you get the ball rolling. Uh, we're going to be a little careful for uh, Talon. I never really like playing versus that guy. Uh, he's always a little bit scary. So I'll just have to respect him just a little bit. Maybe not that much. <laughs> oh, dodge that. Oh, there are a lot of people here. And, whoop, I'm gonna have, That might have been a little too rushed decision to do that flash. I just don't want to die right now. I just want to make sure. Play a little safe. And we'll see if we can snowball it. Because we have the ball rolling now. We just got to keep it going for just a moment more. And uh, we'll get to a point where it's going to be pretty hard for them to do anything about us. So, let's see if we can do that. Whoop, get that guy down. I'm just gonna jump out of here. I'm gonna go down bot. I'm gonna get that farm. I'm gonna put a control ward there. And and we have two wards extra. We actually need to change this for a blue ward, I think. I feel like that's necessary with this talent. I really don't want to be face checking bushes. Um, but your general combo against uh at least in laning phase, is probably gonna be that you wanna, if you wanna go all in on the target, you wanna use your W to jump onto them, pop your, your charge, your explosive charge, and right away also pop your uh, Q, such that you get faster attack speed. And the reason why the EQ is super important is, is simply due to the fact that, oh, I think they need us. It's simply due to the fact that you wanna get these stacks up as fast as possible, such that you can burst down your target. I need to be a little careful. I don't know this. Like Talon is always scary, so I'm not. I'm not gonna duel him. I'm not gonna. Not gonna go for it. Saving him up here if we can finish anyone. I don't think we can. All right, let's have a look. Maybe we can uh, get someone at the edge here. All right, maybe not. All right, let's get this farm. I'm gonna be able to kill that guy, actually. Yep. And a jump away. Thank you. And I'm just gonna run. I don't wanna die to this guy, to be honest, so... Whoop. Echo's coming in, and that is gonna be a free kill for him. Nice. So, they're getting pretty desperate to get me down. There we go. Oh, should we just get the Drake? Well, let's get the Drake real quick. Um, but yeah, Tristana is really, really fun, especially because she snowballs very, very hard. Uh, she's both a good team fighter. She's also a good laner. Uh, so you can do well, very well with her, um, both by split pushing with your support and uh, having a really good early game or going into a team phase. You're, you're really, this champ can really adapt to a lot of situations, which is really, really, really nice. Um, so let's make sure that we just keep our gold up here. Or as much as we can. I think maybe we'll go take the rep buff too, and then we'll go for it back. Because we do have a lot of gold here. So, your general rotation in lane will probably W, E, Q. Uh, that's going to give you a lot of burst. Uh, of course, sometimes you might want to hold on to your W if you know that you're going to need to use it for like a disengage if somebody is rushing you. But one thing that you really, really need to keep an eye out when you're playing. Uh, Tristana is that there's a lot of opportunities where you're going to be able to reset your uh, your W, which means you can jump a lot. So for one, if you're chasing somebody down, if he's running away, if, if they're pretty low, you should W offensively if it means that you can kill one guy because it's going to reset your cooldown. Then you can jump after the next guy and the next guy and uh, that way you can catch people pretty easily. Same goes if somebody is uh, trying to... Uh, to kill you, then if you can see you can finish off a kill by jumping in a little bit offensively, then it might actually be worth it sometimes, because then if that means you can jump in, kill him right away, or finish off a kill or get the assist such that it resets your W, then you can jump again and you might actually be able to get away, even though it's a, an aggressive jump in that resets such that you can get into a defensive position. There's a lot of options for playing Tristana, uh, that way and just looking for assists looking for 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 being a part or being a part of a kill be by getting assists or killing someone 
or getting your max stacks of, of your uh, key off is also very, very crucial because that's also a way of resetting it. So really think about your W, and that's the, that's the difference between a good Tristana and a great Tristana. Like, that is whether or not you know how to use this W, because you can really do a lot with this spell, I'm telling you guys. It is an absolutely insane spell. Okay, he's gonna go away. Alright, I'm a little too afraid. I don't know how many is in there. So I don't want to keep that going. Um, we're doing very well. We're just uh, going to see if we can uh, keep the wall rolling. Up. Okay, how many kills does that guy have? Four. So we'll, we can probably beat him up pretty easily. Okay. Whoop. All right, we gotta get out there. And let's just back off. At this point, we can get ourselves another BF Sword. That's really gonna help us. Tristana really power spikes at her third item, so that is gonna be a great one to get. All right, let's see. At this point, we need to go for... We have Drake coming up in one minute and 40 seconds, so we need to be ready for that one. We gotta look around the map. What else do we have? We have most hurts down in mid lane. I think maybe going over here and helping out in the other side is ideal. Alright, let's just go over here. Get as much farm as we can. Go take uh, the grums down here. Get ready for Drake. Um... So yeah, overall, this is. I hope this kind of gives you an impression of a way or how to play Tristana. I think for newer players, it can probably be a good idea to hold on to your W uh, for a bit. I'm not saying don't use it at all aggressively, but really think about when you use it and the purpose for it. Because uh, it is a super, super strong spell. Uh, but uh, with a bit of mispositioning, then you can really... Uh, you can re Ooh! You can really screw yourself over. Just like I pretty much did there. Alright, I'm gonna be a little careful here. I'm gonna stand the back line. Wait for a second for my team to pick up the pace here. Oh, I'm... Ah, uh, that was too late, my heal. Oh, that is not enough to kill him. Oh, I'm a little afraid because I don't really know what they are. Right, that guy died. Nice. Alright, their MF is down here. If they turn on this guy, that guy's gonna be dead now. For sure. There we go. See if we can catch up to the other one. We won't be able to. He's gonna be gone by now. Uh, but we will be able to push probably mid turret because Trenomir is just splitting up there. So, so far, so good. Get that one in there. There we go. And start pushing. It seems like my team is going Drake. Uh, I don't really need to help right now because their team is pretty much down. They don't have a jungler to uh, to uh, challenge that Drake. So we're just going to push instead. There's no point going down there. And we're going away. There we go. See if we can kill some of their wolves as they got come up. So always think about taking objectives away from uh, the enemy team. If... If you're running through their jungle, you have nothing that you can push right now, then instead of going back right away, if there's no threat in running here and taking their jungle, go ahead and take that jungle, it's gonna be worth it. We're just gonna be able to smash our way through this. And there's gonna be another one. And I'm gonna jump over here before I kill him, just so I can reset my cooldown. Give me another one. There we go. Oh, whoop. So, think about that. Right there, I let him survive just for a second, just so I could rocket jump before, and then reset my cooldown so I could rocket jump again. It's a really, really neat trick. So also think about when you kill them. Like, of course, you don't let them get a chance to kill you, but if he's not a threat, and you sit on your W and you're like, okay, I can jump first, and then I can finish him then that might be worth it. 
I'm just gonna try and smash through here. It's gonna give us a lot of farm as well, just sitting here. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to finish the game in just a moment. But we might, we might go down to the bot lane uh, and push that one in as well. We'll see. We'll see. Depending on what happens here. I'm not gonna risk too much if I can avoid it. Uh, but right now we're just blocking off all the minions, which is super nice. So let's do that. Just make sure we uh, try and block this. Alright, I'm jumping away now. You can see if we, if we can kill this guy, we can probably solo all of them. And another one. And this is going to be the last one. And I should have had my, uh, my Q up earlier there, but... Well, we're so far ahead now. We have 4,000 gold, so even if we died now... We're still, like, at a point where it's really difficult. And we're just gonna spam our ult as he spawns, and he's gonna be dead. See if we can push this turret in. Oh, wait, what did I die to? Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't know how I just completely and utterly forgot. That Karthus is still alive when he's dead. Because that makes sense, right? Make champions that stay alive and kill him. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I completely and utterly forgot about that. I have no clue why that uh, just completely messed me up, but yeah. Okay, for now, what we can do now, we can go something like a static shift that's gonna give us some extra attack speed and burst. I think that's what we're gonna go for. I think we're gonna go for that one and probably into a Bloodthirster afterwards just because we're so strong. We could also go something like a Guardian Angel. That's also uh, an option, but we are just, yeah. We're so far ahead that I don't really feel like we need the Bloodthirster. Um, we're not really dying only because I'm an idiot. Ish. Because <laughs> I just died to uh, to his passive of being alive after death. But I think our team is actually going to be able to just finish it off before we even get there. Uh, so yeah, I hope this game just kind of gave you an impression of how to play Tristana, or at least one way of playing her. Uh, she's a really strong champion. I would suggest this champion for anyone who wants to play uh, ADC and don't really know where to start, then this champion is great. Uh, both because if you're a brand new player, the entry level for performing well on her is pretty low. It's, it's not that difficult compared to other champions. Um, but she has a very, very high uh, skill cap, which means that you can get really, really good with her and she's gonna perform well even if you're playing at uh, at challenger level. Like, people use her in pro games for a reason. Uh, so I hope this kind of gave you an idea. So if you're brand new to the to Trusana, it you figured out whether or not this is a champion for you, if it's one you want to pick up, or maybe if you're a, uh, a mediocre or or a good player on Tristana that just kind of needed a refreshing a look at a way of playing Tristana that you learned something and hopefully became a little better or at least learned a trick or two. Um, so yeah, I hope I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it was, then uh, I really appreciate it if you would smash that like button. It really does help me out a ton. It really shows me uh, that you guys enjoy the content that I make and uh, it makes sure that this video comes out to a lot more people. Uh, yeah, so that would be super awesome. If you guys are not already, then make sure to subscribe down underneath. It really does mean everything to me. Uh, it's so nice to see every time you guys pop a subscribe in there. It's been insane the amount of support we've gotten lately. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can, uh, can make this channel grow and uh, grow as a community. Always feel free to join in on my Discord if you guys feel like it. Chat with me. I'm pretty much always online in there and respond in between doing stuff. Uh, so feel free to do that if you feel like it. But that is actually going to be all for this video. If you guys have some champion that you really, really want me to teach you um, or learn a few tricks or tips about, then just write in the comment section. I'll definitely take it into consideration and do a video on it. Uh, but that's going to be it for this one. So as always, stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.